Hi, I'm Danielle Jones Wesley with the Red Carpet Report, and we're at the Daytime Creative Arts Emmys. Ah, uh, did the happy dance? <laughs> <laughs> I was, um, I'm on. I was surprised. Yeah. I was surprised. Yeah. I mean, I'm always surprised. You know, you're up against the best, of the best, and so sometimes I look at myself and I'm like, what did I do right? But. <laughs> Because you're helping animals, you know, you're doing the right thing. It's my, it's my life's work, it's my passion, I've been doing it my whole life and who knows, you know. Years ago it was just a, it was a concept, you know, and I never thought that it would uh, turn into a series. It's so awesome. Um, over, you know, the, the work that you've done, what, have the, has there been any standout moments for you? Any moments that you're like, wow, I really made an impact in the animal's life? Uh, oh yeah, the service dogs that I train. Every time I train a service dog, um, not only do I make an impact in the animal's life, but I make an impact on the, handles, the handler's life that gets the dog, you know. And a lot of these people, they have either conditions or they're, they're disabled, you know. I'm sure a lot of people are familiar with the episode um, with the golden retriever that I trained for the disabled veteran who lost his legs in Afghanistan. That right there, I made a difference in the dog's life and the veteran's life. So those right there, they hit so close to home, and that's why I do it, you know. And I still, to this day, you know, I cry over all the service dogs that I train because they spent such a long time with me. They spent, you know, anywhere from four months to almost a year, and when I got to give them away, it's like walking away from a son. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah. Yeah. Do you ever reach out to any of those families of those dogs? Every one of them. Yeah. Every one of them. Yeah. How many dogs have you like helped in your life? In my career? Yeah. We don't know, but it, we estimate probably between seven and ten thousand. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh! Yeah, I because feel on the average every year there's uh, start to finish like full obedience. If a dog knows nothing, yeah. I probably train between two and three thousand, um, and I have solved. Easily, throughout the year, I probably train about maybe uh, between one to two hundred dogs where I quickly solve a problem over a day or two. That is... Do the math over a lifetime of training dogs, we're probably hitting closer around the 10,000 dog range. I know people laugh when I say that number, but I've been training dogs since I was a little kid. That is insane. Yeah. So when did you know you wanted to do this? I didn't have a choice. My father was a lion tamer in the circus. <laughs> I was doing this when I was a little kid, you know. That was my first job, and it's my last job. Did you ever think you'd end up on TV, really? No, I didn't. That's what I was saying. You know, years ago, it was just, you know, this was just my, my job. This is my life. It was just, I never thought that, that this concept, you know, rescuing dogs, finding them homes, um, I never thought this would end up on TV, but here I am, you know. Hey, doing good work, it pays off. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys, for tuning in to the Red Carpet Report. If you like what you see, click like and subscribe. And don't forget to comment below. Tell us who your favorite daytime soap stars are. I know who mine is, but you know what? The biggest deal of the night is Florence Henderson. I met Florence Henderson. I met Mama Brady. How cool is that?